highly anticipated matchup for the UFC middleweight division title. So here he is, the number one middleweight contender getting set for this 185 pound title fight. He believes this title shot should have come a long time ago, but he has let bygones be bygones. The focus now, unseating the champion in dominant fashion and starting a new middleweight legacy of his own, 25 minutes or fewer away from becoming the new champion and performs tonight. So here's the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world making the walk, looking to defend his title. It is certainly something that he's been able to do in the past. He has been challenged on this title run. It's not as though he has run roughshod through this division, but they're all still chasing him at 185 pounds tonight. At least on paper, could be his most difficult challenge to date. All right, now our tale of the tape for this middleweight championship fight. The Italian is 27. The Australian is 29. The rest is roughly identical. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC middleweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 16 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands six feet tall, weighing at 185 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Marvin Vittori. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 23 wins, five losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting in Sydney, New South Wales, Australia. Ladies and gentlemen, the reigning, defending UFC middleweight champion, Robert Whitaker. All right, this is for the championship. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. Ready. started here round one is underway and we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with tonight though he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything and that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage but we know what a high level striker is and this guy is as high level as we've ever seen in the ufc looked like he might have landed there instead a swing and a miss by whitaker well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Nice punch by Whitaker. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. 
And a nice left hand there on the inside. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. And he landed the right hand there. Unable to connect with a right hook. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Defense there, huge block for him. That right hand hurt him a little bit. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. He is throwing his entire hip into these body shots. Oh, now going to the body with that hook. Nicely done there by Whitaker. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Slips the punch. Lands a big elbow there. Left hook right hand. Oh, big left. Just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Robert Whitaker. It's okay. Keep going. Keep going. Big punch lands through the middle. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Two minutes now to go in the opening round. Don't wait, don't wait. I need you to be first now. Oh, nice jab there by Whitaker. Big shots being landed on both sides here. And misses with the right hand. He's digging his entire weight into those punches to the body. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, huge block! He's got him in the clinch once again. Score that takedown for me, man! Keep moving. Push the pace. Push the pace. One minute. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Whitaker. Oh, single collar tie here. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Whitaker gets caught by that elbow. It doesn't look like there's a cut, but he'd be wise to get those hands up. I need you to get that takedown now. 15 seconds remain in the round. Whitaker gets caught with that punch. There's the double leg. The takedown is there. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling stop, can stop, really stop. be entertaining. All right, take a seat. Breathe. Good. Into that nose, out to that mouth. All right, next round. All right, well, the crowd enjoyed those five minutes. DC, take us through some of the highlights from that previous round. Face punching at its best. Ha. He loaded it up, he threw it straight, he threw it long, and over and over, that punch found the target. It allowed him to really dictate the pace of that round. All right, second round now underway. I'm no analyst, but a little bit of a feeling out process there in round one. And that's a part of being in the octagon with someone that's so skilled. You cannot just go after them guns and blazing. 
both of these young men are trying to find the right moment to attack. Oh, big punch lands. You be first. Strike first. Here we go. But that punch, no good. Whitaker gets caught by that straight punch. You got to do better than that defensively. Right. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. Single collar tie now. Oh, beautiful right hook counter. Big hook. Oh! All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. But how about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, lands a left punch there, and a lot of it's set up by good footwork. Really great footwork and setting traps so that he can land that beautiful left hand. Oh, nice jab. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Punch coming, it's blocked. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Now he's got the Muay Thai plunk. And they separate. Big kick lands. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. And just misses with that big right hand. Slips. Nice strike. Punch is blocked. Oh, collar tie. Single collar tie. Huge block there. Big powerful punch land. Now we get back to range. Slips the punch. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy. He's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he up. has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make him pay for it. Man, how about the steam behind that Whitaker jab tonight? Robert Whitaker is a great striker. I mean, he has it all when it comes to the stand-up and the boxing. And that is a full display right now. Well, he is clearly faded in this one. And I'm not talking about the high and tight skin fade on my man Ooh. Daniel Cormier. He got stunned earlier in the round, and, and mentally, I feel like he checked out a little bit. He hasn't been able to build back and fight the way that we're used to seeing him fight. He needs to take a breath, take a moment, and get back to work. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Lands with the right hand. Got the single collar tie. Nice punch there. Keep your hands up for me. Come on. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. He's, he's limping now. All right, that's the end of round number two. 
All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You gotta think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. Moving forward. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Wood Corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in the few minutes. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, a huge block there. Hands up, hands up. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Hands higher, hands Just misses higher. there with the left. Big shot lands. Good combination of strikes there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. He got him. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Out of range with that one. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. And there comes the separation now. Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Man! Now connects with the right. Let's make a pose and let's get going now. Takedown defense holds up. Whitaker's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do with it. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you want. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming, and when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. Just misses with that one. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Ooh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Robert Whitaker. Right hook to the head blocked. Oh! Oh, he might be out. Oh! Back to the feet. Oh, straight right. Beautiful kick. Oh, blocks the shot. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Beautiful punch. Flips the punch nicely there. All right, single collar tie now. And they separate. Beautifully timed and place kick there by Whitaker. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, he 
in a single collar tie here. And both guys really throwing with authority. Blocks the shot. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh! He's out! He got him! What a performance! Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, DC, no telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you got to show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at 4 minutes, 54 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, Robert Whitaker. All right, so there he is, the still UFC middleweight champion of the world. He has retained this title at 185 pounds for some time and, and showing no signs of slowing down, DC. This is a weight that hasn't had many middleweight champions. Anderson Silva reigned for so long that every time a guy gets his hands on the belt, they're going to hold on to it for dear life. And tonight, he got the job done and remains the UFC middleweight champion.